Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields and today we're gonna to be working on the minaret stitch and this is the front side of the work. Very unique pattern. I definitely have some stitches in here that I had not even thought to put together. Um, it's repeated, let's see, you wanna cast on and 12 plus four. So I have 28 stitches on my needles and Rows one through five, you wanna just, they're just knit and purl stitches. So I am gonna start on row six, which calls to knit four. And then we're going to bring the yarn in the front, and then we're going to slip two stitches as if to purl, and bring the yarn back to the front and then we're gonna knit the four stitches. And we're gonna continue repeating that pattern. So we're gonna bring the yarn in the front, slip as if to knit, bring the yarn back into the back, and then knit four normal. Yarn in front, slip, and knit. Bring the yarn in the front, slip two, put the yarn in the back, and then knit the last four stitches. Row seven. A little, little more complicated. We're gonna do some twist cabling. So we're gonna purl the first four stitches. All right, and we're gonna put these two stitches onto a cable. We're gonna hang them in the front. Then we're gonna purl two. Then we're gonna yarn over. And then we're going to knit these two together through the back loops off of the cable needle. Do you guys see that? We'll do it again. So knit those two off of the cable needle in the back. Now the next two stitches, you're gonna slip them off and hang them in the back of the work. And we're gonna knit these two stitches together. Yarn over. And then we're gonna purl the two stitches off of the cable needle. And then, oops, we don't wanna catch that. We're going to purl these next four stitches. And then we're going to repeat that. So with the cables, we're gonna do cable at the front. So we're gonna to take the, slip these two stitches off. And then we're gonna purl two. And then we're gonna yarn over. And then we're gonna knit these two stitches together through the back loops, through the back. and then slip that off. Oops. Now we're gonna put the two stitches at the back of the work, oops. We'll still split that stitch, there we go. All right, so we knit two together and you wanna yarn over and then purl these two stitches off of the cable needle, and then you'll purl the last four stitches. And now we're ready for row eight. Let's take a look at that. 
So that is where you just created those very neat cables. Awesome. Okay, so row eight, we're going to knit four. And now we'll start our repeat. And this one's kind of, it doesn't really follow the previous row, so it's kind of hard. So we want to, we're gonna start our repeat, which is a purl two stitches, and then we're gonna knit one through the back loop. And then we're going to purl two, and knit one through the back loop. And then we're gonna purl two, and knit four. And we're going to start our repeat. So we're going to purl two, knit one through the back loop, purl two, knit one through the back loop, and then we're going to purl two and knit four. And that calls, that's the last row in this uh, stitch. However, I will probably do like this here, I'll probably do four, five, four or five more rows of pearls and knits, and then I'll go ahead and bind it off. And that is called the minaret stitch. I believe I'm saying that right, but that is some really neat cabling. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's new stitch and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.